Simba's on one side of this rug, Boo's on the other side of this rug, and the rug is halfway up the wall. What's going on here? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 9.30 a.m. Good morning, Stella. Stella got a bunch of pets today, right? Yes. Good morning, Boo. Boo's been in a bad mood this morning. I don't know why. What's the matter, Boo? This might be why Boo's in a bad mood. Look. All the round cat beds are taken. Simba's in one and Splash's in the other. They look so happy. Now I do have more round cat beds than I could put up here. I think it fits three. So I could put a third cat bed up there and I might do that, see what happens. The other cat beds are downstairs on the sofa. And there's Hydrox, he's sitting in the sun. He was in his house earlier this morning. Um, I did check the live stream and he was in his house. And it's 17 degrees out, so I'm happy he's in the warm sun because it is warm where he is, but it's really cold out. And I also want to thank, oh, hello, Hydrax. You heard me? Okay, yeah, I'll give you some food in a little while. I also want to thank C.R. Barboni for all of his super chats during this Valentine's Day live stream. And I want to thank Smarty Plum for her super chat this morning. And I want to thank everyone for all of their super chats during this live stream. Everyone who I have not mentioned just because I haven't had time to keep up with the entire live stream. When a live stream is running 24-7, it's a lot to keep track of. There is the salmon that I gave Hydrax yesterday. It's completely frozen in his bowl. And here's all the bird seed that's still in this bird feeder. The birds don't want it. Oh my gosh, look what's going on here. Someone dragged the pink feather boa into the Halloween scratching house. I wonder what they were doing. It's 10.30 a.m. I'm just about to go outside and give Hydrox some food and look at this bowl. It's full of rainwater and it's completely frozen. And this is the heated water bowl. I don't know if you can see it, but there is some steam rising off of it. It's not that it's like incredibly hot water in there. It's just evaporating when it hits the cold air. So I am going to fill that with fresh water because that's really the only um, water that's available outside right now. And I'm going to give Hydrax some food in the heated kitty cafe. Okay, so here's the plan. Let's see if this works. I put Hydrox's food in a paper bowl, and I put the paper bowl in this heated kitty cafe, and let's see if that'll keep it from freezing. These metal bowls need to be washed, and it would just be so much easier if I could just put paper in here and have him uh, eat off of paper. It would be more sanitary too than, there's no way I'm washing these every single day. The other thing I have to do today is refill this automatic feeder. It's empty. It's almost 3 p.m. Let's check in with the cats. So Boo's been laying on his day sofa, and this is the first time he's laid on it in a very long time because I moved it, and he did not like where it was. It was, like, facing the window in this room. He did not like it for whatever reason. So I put it back on this wall, and now he likes it again. And let me tell you what happened here. So I just opened this back door, and Hydrox is hanging out on this mat. He's laying in the sun, right? And I opened the back door, and Simba came right over to it, and he was rubbing up against the glass, and Hydrox was on the other side of the glass, and the two of them were, like, rubbing up against each other. And I was like, oh, my gosh. But, you know... Without that glass, they might get themselves into a big fight. Wanna see? Yeah, watch. Is there gonna be hissing and fighting? Boo's here. Boo's smelling Simba's butt. There's gonna be a fight. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's gonna be a fight. So, Hydrox does not like the fact that I've opened the door, so he has walked away. 
Look at this. Look at these two. Someone's going to hit each other. Who's going to hit who? Is Boo going to hit Simba or is Simba going to hit Boo? What's going to happen? Something's going to happen. Simba's going to walk away. Look at this. That's amazing. Good job, Boo. No fight. Good job, Simba. And there's Hydrox. Okay, so here's the food bowl that I put in this heated kitty cafe. And it's not frozen. Um, it's definitely warm on the bottom, so I'm going to move it. Hydrox is like meowing. I don't know why he's not eating this, so I'm going to put it close to him. I just moved the food bowl over closer to where Hydrox was sitting. And he doesn't want it. He moved away from it, so I don't know what he's meowing at. Now he's sitting under the house, and I just moved the food bowl very close to him, so he should go eat that. Now that is a can of food. It's a can of the Trader Joe's Turkey and Giblets with uh, some of the canned salmon. So it's not like raw food that doesn't have much of an odor. He should be able to smell it. Look at this. He's walking away from it. Okay, I just moved it up here on the back step. Uh, hopefully he'll eat it. If he does not eat it, it's going back into the heated bowl. Now he's walking around. He's walking around. Is he going to come up the steps? There he is. Look at this. Look. Now he's looking at the heated feeder. I just moved everything around. Look. Oh my gosh. Now he's looking there. I just moved the food out, Hydrox. The food's here. There's still dry food in that bowl, I believe. So He'll eventually work his way back up to the back door and hopefully he'll eat the food. It is 4.23 p.m. I'm trying to clean and organize this house today and I can't get anything done because of Stella following me around and all she wants to do is rub up against my legs. It is 5.47 p.m. right now and both of the bowls from the Heated Kitty Cafe have been washed and they're both full of food. The one on the left has homemade raw food and water and the one on the right has a can of turkey and giblets with water. And then I took out the paper plate and it looks like someone ate the food that was in it because there's only a very little bit of food left on the bottom. So that's really good. And the paper plate itself held up really nicely. I thought maybe that it would get too wet from the food, but it did not. It held up really nicely. So that is good to know. And uh, yeah, so there's still a little bit of food in the paper plate. Uh, it's probably going to freeze now because I took it out of the heated kitty cafe. There's fresh water, there's raw food, there's canned food, and then in this bowl there's a whole bunch of cat treats. So I found a bag of the Trader Joe's cat treats that none of the inside cats like, and I just piled them in here. Someone will eat them. Hydrox is in his house. I don't know if you could see it, but he's in there nice and warm. It is 10 a.m. And Boo's getting some pets. Today's a day to sleep late, Boo, right? Okay, he's getting pets. And I want to mention that he feels like velvet today. Boo velvet. You feel like velvet today. Your fur is so soft.
Let's see if we can wipe Pooh's eyes. Let's see if he'll let us wipe his eyes. He's getting better at that. There you go, Bo. You let me wipe that eye. One more to go. See, sometimes now he likes it. Okay. Now he's purring. See? He used to absolutely hate this. He used to absolutely hate this. And now he likes it. Because it makes him look handsome, Boo. It's about 11 a.m. right now, maybe 11.30, and Boo just got lint rolled. I went through like five sheets of these already. So today I discovered that Boo loves being lint rolled. This is a lint roller, and I was lint rolling the pants I'm going to wear today because there was some cat hair on them. And I said, Boo, you want me to do you? Oh my god, he loved it. This is like the fifth uh, roll of paper that I'm doing on him. Not the full roll, but you know, the sheet. The fifth sheet of paper I'm doing on him. Don't you dare lay on my pants. I just lint rolled them. Don't lay on them. Look at all the hair it gets out of him. I don't know if you see that. Boo gets excited from it. <laughs> okay, Boo. It is 1.15 p.m. And there's Hydrox hanging out by his house. He was standing by the back door. And then uh, when I opened the back door, he moved to near his house. Um, he was meowing, so I put some food out for him. Here's a full can of Trader Joe's Ocean Whitefish with some homemade chicken broth mixed in. And I don't know what's going on near that welcome mat that he's sitting on, but I don't know if he was trying to dig under it. Someone was trying to dig under it. I don't know who it was, um, but I'm gonna look at that later. And today is the last day for this Valentine's Day live stream. I would say it's been going on for about four weeks right now. So uh, I think this afternoon I'll be ending the live stream. I'm going to give the streaming computer a rest. I'm going to run some updates and uh, maybe in a few days or a week uh, there will be another live stream. I mean, that's the plan. We'll just see how that goes. Um, but uh, Hydrex is very happy because he has such a beautiful shelter and so many pretty decorations. And there's Ditto. Ditto's coming by to visit. D I don't know if you just noticed this, but Hydrox meowed and Ditto meowed back to answer him. Yeah, they're meowing at each other. So when Hydrox meows, a lot of the times he's meowing to Ditto. So he's calling Ditto over. So I'm just about to leave, which means I have to walk past Ditto. He'll probably get freaked out, but hopefully he'll come back here and eat the food that's put out. It's 9.30 p.m. right now, and I came downstairs to get a gallon of water. I keep a bunch of water bottles down here, and Splash followed me down, and he was meowing at me. So me and Splash had some quality one-on-one -on -one time, and he got lots of pets, like a lot of pets. And then I gave him some crunchies, Someone's sneaking down right now to eat his crunchies. It's Boo. Boo heard the crunchies from across the house. I'm going to pick Boo up and take him upstairs. And Splash is going to finish his crunchies. It's 8.15 a.m. Good morning, Stella. The cats had their breakfast in the automatic feeders today. So they're all taking their morning nap. Look at Stella's toe beans. Good morning, Simba. Simba's been laying in this round cat bed and Boo's been laying in the one next to him. It was so cute. Simba and Boo hanging out together. The problem is, as soon as I turned the camera on, Boo had to get up. And here's Splash. He was hanging out on one of the dining room chairs. But when I was moving stuff around just now, he kind of got freaked out and ran into the living room. 
But he's been taking a nap also. It's 8.50 a.m. and look at this, look. Simba's on one side of this rug, Boo's on the other side of this rug, and the rug is halfway up the wall. What's going on here? This rug does not belong here. This rug belongs down the hall, Boo, not here. It is 5.22 p.m. and I just gave Hijack some food. He's eating homemade raw food with chicken broth mixed in. And he was hanging out by the back door. And when I opened the door, Stella and Boo wanted to smell to see what was going on. And then Hydrox was meowing, so I gave him some food. It is now 5.50 p.m. And Hydrox was meowing like crazy. He was like so demanding. So I mixed up some chicken broth with a can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. And that's what he's eating now. So he's doing one of these things where he eats a ton of food. Like for the past few days I've been giving him food and he hasn't been going near it. And I don't know if he's been eating it later or what. But he's just been like not caring about it. And then today all of a sudden he's like super hungry. So who wants crunchies? You want crunchies? Who wants crunchies? Who wants crunchies, Splash? Come on. Come here, Splashy. Come on. Come here, Splash. Where are all the crunchies? Where'd the crunchies go? Where are the crunchies at? So one thing I learned uh, this past week is that when you have a cat like Splash that's black and white, Splash is actually a black cat with areas that are lacking pigment. So his white fur lacks pigment. And Stella is actually a tabby cat 
with areas of lacking pigment. So her white fur is where she lacks pigment. So you can see on the right hand side of the screen, Boo is a black cat. You know, he's like 99% black. He has that one little white patch of fur where he's missing pigment. And Simba is a complete tabby. He's fully pigmented. And then Stella and Splash both have areas where they are lacking pigment. But you can easily see how Splash uh, gets his fur from Boo. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.